Hello and welcome to another video from Kinson Kerman. In this video we're going to be upgrading the UFO interceptor uh, as the original ones don't have any form of vertical lift engines which is quite an issue when you're trying to take off vertically. Um, I was using the uh, center of mass thing to try and guesstimate where to put the engines so they would both uh, both sets of engines supply an equal amount of lift. So here we are on the runway. You might recognise it. Um, right, we're just going to give the um, the lift engines a test to make sure the action keys work. Yeah, that's that. Um, I think I should set both of the sets of engines to one action key rather than having one for the front, one for the rear. But uh, we'll forget about that for now. Uh, so we're on half thrust. Um, I didn't expect, I don't expect the lift engines will lift to the uh, UFO interceptor off the ground on Kerbin, but it should be fine on the moon. So we're going to try our usual run down the runway and lift off just as you reach the end. Trying to get a bit of a wobble on. Try to get it straight and pull up. So now we're on full thrust, we're on full lift engine as well, but that's not enough because I've forgotten to turn on the rear booster engines. Oh. Alright, so here we are again, just approaching the end of the runway with. All the engines running on full thrust, and we pull up, and yeah, we're flying again. The lift engines don't seem to offer much in the way of lift on the Kerbin. I'm sure they're better on the Mun. Yeah, well, we're climbing. Oh, steady. <laughs> That's why we need both of the engines on one action key, not on two different ones. And um, uh, we're getting through the fuel, so uh, now would be a good time to stick the fuel sheet on. Well, we're nice and light on fuel as well. All the uh, all the tanks are almost empty. So we're approaching the space centre, and we fire. Oh, <laughs> uh, I suppose you could say that's a moonshot. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Alright, so let's try that again. Uh, this time I think we're going to come in uh, lower and I'm going to get much closer before I fire. Right, so this time we're going to get much closer and or quite low and fire. Ah, oh, don't believe it. Oh, you want to see it crash into the building? Okay, there you go. That's what you wanted to see, wasn't it? Something blowing up. Anyway, we're still trying to shoot the building with the missile rocket thing. Oh. <laughs> Has the assembly building got some sort of shield? Well, it seems like we've got to get really close to the building to hit it. So, there we go, and yeah, we hit it. Unfortunately, the uh, interceptor does more damage than the rocket does, but never mind. Okay, well, that's that for now then. So, let's get the interceptor to the MUN. So, we bring on the orbit sheet, and hey, we've arrived. So I've killed off all the orbital speed and I'm trying to make a completely vertical descent and when I fire the um, vertical lift engines you can see the which one? Uh, one of them the yeah the rears were much stronger effect than the fronts so I need to reduce the thrust until I get an even lift uh, if I can fine tune it enough then the thrusters um, the maneuvering thrusters won't have to 
fight against them. I was using the anti-normal manoeuvring node to try and keep the ship vertical. Actually for some reason it disengaged and flipped out and there's a mild panic and quick thrusters, thrusters, thrusters and we've landed. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Right, well we've landed, so we've done a quick save, uh, so I guess it's time to try and take off. So we've activated the lift engines, and hopefully I've got the balance about right. Oh, that's not far off. That's without thrust, uh, without the RCS and the SAS to keep it stable. Just wanted to see how close they were. That's not bad going. Oh, better get this roll under control, get it back the right way up, there we go, I might have some RCS and SIS to look after that for me, and let's see where we can go, we're losing a bit of altitude so we better have a booster on that from the vertical lift engines, yeah it seemed to stay pretty level, go now we can just drift for a little while and admire the landscape as it passes us by right I think it's time to see how this rocket performs in low gravity and no atmosphere whoa did that mm, look like it veered off for a moment let's have a quick replay of that no that looks fine that's going nice and straight yeah, it just must have been the way I panned across the screen as I fired it, and it just looked like it was curving. Uh, yeah, there it goes. Oh, it's on an escape trajectory. Oh, yeah, the um, fuel sheet's on, isn't it? So, yep, they're going to burn forever. Unless I turn the fuel sheet off, I suppose. There's not much point now, so... Um, Let's just have a quick look at the map and see what's going on. Yep, that's on an escape trajectory. We won't be seeing that again. Right, well that's the end of this video. Uh, don't forget to check back soon because we're going to have to make something to shoot at with the interceptor. Thanks for watching.